So which one is it? All hands on deck. Y'all know I don't know titles, help me. I'm gonna go with the code all day. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nakia, data analyst working in Atlanta today, working from home for a half day. I need to get some modeling out for an analysis that I'm doing for my manager, I guess you could say. So I need to um, actually pull some numbers from our data warehouse. So I need to work on a query, but I've worked on this type of data. When is it? October? I think it was for like that project that I worked on for a vendor. If you've been following me, I mentioned that there was a project that I worked on for like an outside vendor for a service that we sell. I think I need to utilize some of the code from that project for this work that I'm currently doing. I'm just going to go through. And as far as like using some of that code, I mostly need to find the tables that contains the data that I need. And I will say this, like I know I kind of like go in about Teradata Studio, but I do like that. Like I don't have to set, I don't have to save like my SQL files separately in a folder. Like you can save it within T Teradata Studio. So I do like that. So let me go ahead and connect. And as long as you name your files appropriately, like it's easier to locate what it is that you need. Connect. Why isn't this connecting? I don't know what's going on. So I'm just looking for these tables. Okay, so I found my file in Teradata Studio that has the table name. So I'm just running a query to do a count. Well, hold on, I need to, I need to actually change some stuff, but I'd want to eventually just do a count of products of sales for this specific product for the month of February month to date. Um, and because I need to do a count, that is considered like an aggregate in, in SQL. So when you are using like an aggregate function, like sum, min, max, count, uh, average, those are all aggregate functions within SQL. So when anytime that you use those, you need to use a group by to group your data. It kind of like splits the result in results that you're using into group. So you need to group it by the fields. Like if you are including fields in your query that are not summed or that you're not going to aggregate. So let's say for example, I want a count of customers, but I'm also going to include the customer name. I need to group by one because the customer name is not a field that I'm aggregating. So that non aggregated field, I need to group my data by if that makes sense. It may not, but hopefully. So maybe I'll try to come up with another analogy that makes sense to you guys because I don't know. All right. So, so this has where the effective date is after February 1st. And what else do I need to call out? Okay, so I need to put the... So I am pulling it back where I want this is null. Let's see if this gives me a better look at. <sighs> that still looks high, that number. I don't believe we've done this many sales. So let me go back because I'm trying to compare it to a dashboard. Or is it this one? And I am looking in 2025. Tableau, what in the world is going on? I don't know what's going on with Tableau. Why does it keep refreshing? So this is saying 23,000 month to date. Why? Where's their, where's their definitions page? I don't know. Let me do this. Select all from here where, <sighs> cancel it, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take this sample. I just pulled back the 2000 rows of data. I'm just gonna take this sample, paste it in Excel because we need to learn Excel so that I can look at this data. I wanna get a better look so I can determine what fields I need to either remove or I know I need to remove this where this is not true. So I need to narrow down my results for my specific channel. There's so many columns in here that's just null. Oh no, it's, it's the data I'm looking at, that's why it's null. And So I'm just adding in a, adjusting my where clause or statement. Okay, this, what were this line number? This might be too low now. But let's 
spend isn't return though. Why would it be the cost? How is the cost? Okay, good morning everybody, happy Thursday. All right, so today I am working on getting some, well, myself and someone else, we are trying to find out. Take your sick days. Oh, <sighs> okay, what was I saying? I like my mind is everywhere. Myself and someone else from finance, we are trying to find out the definitions or not the def well definition slash metric calculation because here's the thing people have a met like we have these metrics they have a specific and i think i've mentioned this before like we have these metrics but they have the same name like i can have a metric called sales by day but the way i calculate it could be could be different than the way someone else calculates it so what we typically do is like when we are creating a dashboard we will put in there what the calculation is right we'll have like a definite what we call like a definitions page but the definitions page is really just these are all the metrics that's in this dashboard and this is how we are calculating them right so there are three dashboard like three other there's a metric that we need to use for an upcoming initiative for mark and the way that it it's like look in one of the dashboards that I looked at the metric was calculated it in the definitions page it says it was calculated one way but when you look into the data and look at like you can for in this is in thought spot you can actually click on SQL query and see that person's code y'all the way it's defined on their definitions page is not the way that metric is calculated in the code so which one is it <laughs> Like, I'm going to go with the code all day, regardless of what your definition say. I'm going to go by the code. So that is calculated differently. Or again, that is calculated differently than what the um, dashboard shows. And then on another dashboard, I looked at the way it's calculated. And that doesn't match or align with this third dashboard that I'm looking at. And I'm just like, why do we have all, like, we have to determine which calculation we want to use for our upcoming initiative in March. And I'm just like, there's, why are there, and there's subtle differences. Like, it's not even big differences. There's subtle differences as to how they're calculated. Just certain things that are are or are not included right like one i'll give you an example on one dashboard it says all sales and on another it says eligible sales so what's an eligible sale <laughs> like help me i need help understanding the difference like what's the difference between an eligible and all you know but i don't know so that's a part of what we're working on trying to figure that out the whole part of the the code and thing that I was working on yesterday, my, our senior director, y'all know I don't know titles, but I believe that's what he is. Our senior director told us not to focus on that right now. He wants us to focus on this March initiative because one, we need to, like one, I don't know when this vlog will go up, but Q1 sales are not doing great like we wanted them to be. So there's all these initiatives and things to try and drive sales that's going on right now. So this is the focus, all hands on deck, get our sales up for first quarter. So this other stuff I was working on is a second quarter pro or the code that I was developing yesterday that I mentioned. That is a Q2 project. They are like, pause, work on this Q1 stuff to finish the quarter strong. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna continue, um, the guy that I reached out to in finance, he messaged me like after hours. So I responded to his Slack message this morning. He mentioned a contact name from one of the people that own one of the dashboards. So we need to reach out to him just to get clarification on how they're calculating it and just to make sure like the calculation matches the dashboard. So yeah, I need to finish some documentation as well for the March initiative as well. I started working on that yesterday. After I was told to like change direction, I started working on this March initiative yesterday. So I need to continue to work on that and then do some more research about this metric calculation, see what I can find either from the user or sorry the dashboard owner or what I can find in some tables in the database in data warehouse so I'm gonna get started on that what oh I'm not attending this call they can catch me later all right I'll check in with you guys in a bit all right let's get on this scrum call <sighs> hold on is my, are my headphones connected because like I don't know why 
Good morning. What? I'm gonna have to dial in from my phone. Internet issues. What is going on? Because it says I'm connected to the internet. I don't know what's going on. Good morning. Or morning. Yeah. I don't know what um so are we thinking we still want to do the five percent? It's in, oh, go ahead. So, yeah, I mean, I, I've heard the term, but the part of it having to be a part of the metric, like that being a requirement, that piece I wasn't aware of. So, yeah, that we have to include it in the calculation. So when she said, oh, it needs to be in, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's the part that he was taken back to. Yeah, and that's fine. I mean, and that's right, but no, he doesn't. He doesn't have to find a way to pull it in. He's saying like we would just need to use this as our data source because it is there. What do you mean have to automate it? You mean like through, I don't know if they can automate it. Like they haven't been a part of these conversations. So I don't know what they can or cannot do when on this call or I didn't know we were trying to automate this. No, I don't think it would be because if all of the metrics are in which it sounds, yeah, it sounds like it is like, and they've been able to come around like with the different tiers, as long as they're able to say like, hey, well, I mean, the only thing I guess for the employees is that it may not match what they would, their normal met, because here's the thing, like the calculation for, it's based on sales dollars. So when I'm trying to find the message, because I forgot her name, but from legal where she was saying that like, how does count? And was like, it only counts one. No, he was like, it only counts once. And I was like, so how does that work because it seems like the way it calculates maybe for is different than the way it counts in sales dollars because he's like well it count look yeah see like looking at the um their it counts as sales dollars no for like all of it looks like data which i shared with everyone but my question was just like hey how is this calculating oh because he just has numerator denominator so okay so he just responded he said there is included in the attainment so in their Numer so like they get like a sales, right? But it's going, but the the logic or I, I should just, how the measure is calculated is different. From but that's the, like, that's the definition though. Uh, with the exception of I added in since we were told, yeah, since we were told we have to have it. So I added that in, in that call. So I don't forget that that has to be in there. No, so I just wanted to make sure like, hey, it, this is how it's calculated because I don't want people to be like, well, oh, you said this was included or like, I want everything called out. I want people to understand how it's calculated, but it's, yeah, those are not included. Let me look it up because I thought it's, it's like the name of the product is right. It's an all in one product, but it's called probably not they appear to be different products that's what I'm looking he's gonna send me an updated file with the breakout so because it's based on sales dollar now I've said I said like is it even feasible to still set this five percent target no that's something we would have to I asked him for the data but that's something that we need to do but he it doesn't make sense to set it at five percent so I asked if he can break it out so we can see what percent we should actually be setting the target at. Because looking at the data he sent me for January 2024 through February month to date 2025, like they're averaging 99%. So I'm going to break it down into tiers to see what percent is hitting what. Like, I don't know if the 65% is even still a good target. Look, I can't wait to be off. Like, I, I just can't wait. I'm like, because yesterday, yeah, like we're having to figure all this out for ourselves, for everyone. But the thing that took me out was she was like, it's non-existent <laughs> when, when he asked her, what are they doing? She was like, it's non-existent. Like they can't have the same targets. So, so that means y'all need to go get your data and figure out what your target should be because you can't just copy our stuff. But like, look, the way that honestly, like, oh yeah, we got this other one. Okay. Yeah. If that happened in Atlanta, the city would be shut down for two weeks. 